What's going on, everybody? It's Wednesday morning. I told you I'm going to try to do this vlog style. But, man, Fee and I got up. We're going to Stinkin' Lincoln. Got to plan out this day. We got the big whatnot stream, the Todd McFarlane stream. Look, check this out. Got a little omnibus haul in from Organic Price Books, so I got to do a video for that. Still going through some of the long boxes that we picked up from Chicago Fan Expo. But, you know, one thing at a time. All right, guys, so we just left our little spot, Stinkin' Lincoln. It's kind of like a little diner. We like to go get coffee, some breakfast, eggs in the morning. It's like our Seinfeld spot. What's funny about the place is because on the wall it says, an honest place to eat since 1989. So we're like, damn, but why? It says it was established in 1980. <laughs> it doesn't say that, but it's funny. Like We, we asked him. Like, You've been so honest since 89, but like, when did you start? Anyway. Right, but when does the... It should have underneath it established 1985. With like an asterisk or whatever. Right. All right, so we got we hit the little breakfast spot. Got the game plan for today. Going to head back to the house. Check on what we got. Make sure that we're ready for today's stream. And uh, we'll take it from there. All right, let's go down to the office. Let's see what the state of the gym pyre is. I don't remember who closed here last night. All right, so we left some lights on here. All right, not too bad. Let's see. Turn the lights on. I wish that I um, did the LED strips where it connected to my phone or what have you. Still got this one remote that controls them all. But I like these good earth lights because I can throw on like the white color strips at the same time as the color so I can make it bright if I'd like. I feel like I could do that if I wanted to, but kind of been doing bright for the statues and just color for the uh, omnibus stuff. Oh, check this out. So by the time you guys see this video, we would have already done the whatnot stream, but these are the Todd McFarlane signed books that we got that we did giveaways for. You're probably gonna see it in this video, like a big vlog video. Big red sig on the black and white Batman spawn. And all right, so pretty clean. I think what we'll do, since we have a few hours until the show, we'll bring that haul from Organic Price Books down and we'll start working on the haul video. All right, so check it out. I'm recording this right now with my phone. I started using the Sony A6100 some time ago, but recently for the overhead shots, for the omnibus stuff, I went back to using my phone. So I'm using this tripod so I can get like a real overhead shot. Trying to do that with this heavy camera, I always felt like I had the overhead shots at like an angle when I really wanted it, you know, directly overhead. So what we'll do is we'll film all the overhead stuff with the phone right now, and then we'll do the gem on screen stuff with the Sony. Either way, we're gonna use the Shure mic with a mixer and a little cloud booster. Oh, and I forgot the lighting. So what we do is that we have these LED panels these are really cool because you can adjust the brightness with this knob. You can switch the kind of like color of the light as well. And I'll end up cutting off these pot lights or recess lights, whatever you want to call them, and just using the lights from the two LED panels. All right, so just finished with all the overhead shots. I'll probably edit that all up, chop it up real nice like before I start doing my scenes. And we'll see if I get that done in time to where I can film my parts on the Sony. And uh, maybe we can at least film it and then edit that after the uh, whatnot stream or so. What's going on, everybody? Jem Mint here back again with another Omnibus haul. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Omnibus content, statue unboxing, conventions, and I'm doing these new blogs. Shout out to everybody watching the first blog. This is one of them. This is Alan Moore, V for Vendetta. Let's take a look at it. All right, I'm gonna keep you guys rolling. I'm gonna do the thumbnail real quick. All right, so I changed the angle up and I put uh, the focus just on the books and I tried to make it where the books take up the majority of the thumbnail because if I do it head on, okay, it's not you know that impressive of a stack. I mean, it's a big haul. It's five huge books, but um, you know, in the thumbnail, I really want that perspective to show off what the video is about. So let me just put myself in here somewhere. thinking in my head like this is like an epic haul so that's what I'm going for with the thumbnail let's see how it came out the only thing that sucks about recording using my phone is that for some reason the audio from the Shure mic 
um, loses uh, sync with the audio from the camera for some reason. So in iMovie, this is a hack if you still use iMovie in this old school way, but uh, you have to be able to change the speed of the sure track and then you actually have to like stretch it out a little bit to finally match. The art, but you don't hunt down those variants that they can get. All right, so boom, that sounds on point. So I can get rid of the phone volume, adjust the sure. Like the art, but you don't hunt down those variants that they can get quite expensive. All right, so a little trick, but see, I had to get it where I can pull the time on the track because it starts slipping. So even though it starts uh, in sync, it ends not being in sync and it'll drive you crazy. And that doesn't happen though when I get the footage straight off of the uh, Sony. It must be some type of like frame per second thing. Oh, actually, here's an example because I forgot to do the uh, Absolute Edition. I had to go back and do V for Vendetta. But anyway, look, so you have the two audio tracks right now. They're synced up. All right, so we have artwork on all sides of the slip. All right, boom, right? So if I go to the end, it's going to be off. Original art, art on the wraparound wrap covers, covers and get, get sketch, sketch ideas, ideas for the covers. covers. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Then you got to go to the speed. You got to adjust the speed so that you have the ability to to drag it and like make it line up more. That's kind of boring, but just a little tidbit behind the scenes. All right, pro tip. Make sure you got that thumbnail shot before you start putting the books away because then otherwise you're going to have to remove all the books from the library and set everything up again. So, all right, let's figure it out. We got to do Batman by Peter J. Tomasi or Detective Comics. So I guess that can go in the Batman section. We could go in the D section. All right, so we gotta figure that out. And then, man, DC is a little bit difficult because uh, it's, it's a tighter squeeze there. All right, so then we have Green Lantern Core. All right, that's gotta go by the other Green Lantern stuff for sure. Maybe we'll just uh, push this out a little bit. But let's figure out what we're gonna do with Detective Comics first. So, you know what, we're just gonna make it easier on myself here. We're just gonna move. For, for time's sake, right now, we're just gonna shift down a little bit, whatever, just for now. And then <laughs> I guess we'll put a uh, Green Lantern core. Might just scoot everybody down a little bit here. Put it after uh, brightest day, right? Yep. <laughs> All right, Immortal Hulk. So I got Hulk starts over here, but continues over here. All right, I got crap over here too. I think what we'll have to do is put, and look, this is super behind the scenes. I got wires and stuff here. I think we'll just move Maestro next to Maestro, makes sense to me. So let's just slide him in over there, okay. Then we got what, Spider Gwen? I feel like her other one is close by. Yeah, right here. So she needs to just go behind there. Okay, you know what? Why don't we put them? Boom, that makes more sense now, right? And V for Vendetta, I guess can go after Swamp Thing. Let's just be really lazy right now, you guys. We got a lot of stuff we gotta do. Let's just slide V in. There we go, cover that wire for me too while you're there. All right, all these books are away now. Let's uh, try to finish editing this video. This video is brought to you by ThatSpiderManBooth.com. Their September subscription box is now live. So what do you get with the subscription box? Five comic books, both store exclusives and random comics. You get a 50% off homepage product discount with free shipping. And of course, the variant that's exclusive to this box for September, which is a Do You Poo Ninja Funk homage by Alex Cormack. Make sure to head on over to ThatSpiderManBooth.com and sign up for that subscription box today. All right, you guys want some other video tips? So you always want to come and do some color correction, right? Nothing's going to look perfect straight off the camera. So I like to come mess with the levels. Like this is like the contrast. So I kind of like to put the contrast up a little bit, the brightness, but then I like to throw a vignette on it. So sometimes I'll go a little extra bright because the vignette is going to darken you up a little bit, but a little too dark. So I put that to like 75% or something like that. And then always crop yourself. You don't need unnecessary headspace. So whatever's supposed to be in frame should be barely in frame. And whatever doesn't need to be in frame, just crop it right out, right? So then I'll make those changes. And then you can see we're looking tight and crisp in that frame. Taylor Hall from Organic Price Books today. All right, so I think I'm all set for the whatnot stream. 
I'm gonna get the footage of the entire show on the Sony and we're gonna stream live from the phone. So I'll try to incorporate like all the big winners and who's gonna win the Mandalorian statue at the end. Uh, I got all my giveaways ready down here. The Star Wars books we're gonna give away, the McFarlane signed books. And over here I have like a lot of the stuff that we have in the buy it now. What do we have? A ton of Scout Comics number ones. We had some kids books for $3. So you could just pick up a book for the kids, get into the buyer's appreciation video. You know, you could win it for three bucks plus shipping or whatever. So anyway, I'm gonna go change my shirt. I'm thinking I'm put on a Spawn shirt, uh, knock out this show, Raid Todd, check out his stream, try to grab some footage of that for you guys. And uh, in between time, I'll probably work on the thumbnail for that omnibus haul, which everything is now where they should be. So man, stay tuned. Fun day. All right, let's see. Should I throw on the piece? This guy. Custom bezel and dial, but make it plain Jane. Minute left on the Gibby, y'all. All right, let's see. So the winner is with 67 entries. Stash of comics. Congratulations. Take down the quarter scale Mandalorian statue. Damn. So cool, yo. Love to see a familiar face take it. Go ahead and do the spawn 310 giveaway before Todd goes live, y'all. Uh, last chance to enter to this giveaway. It's 100% free, international. Five, four, three, two, one. King's Crisscross Comics. Shout out to King's Crisscross. Crisscross. Shout comics. out to King's Crisscross Comics. Got me tongue twisted. No, I, it's just King's Cross comics. King's Cross? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I got me. I'm a little bit dyslexic if you didn't know. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and run this so that we can raid Todd. Appreciate everyone for being here for sure. Let's get a winner real quick. And the winner is... Top Man 94! Top Man 94! Appreciate y'all, man. Let's go over and see y'all. I want to see what's going on. Let's go to Todd. Oh, Okay. Then I'm gonna throw in one of these 1997 buttons then. Let's throw another button in here then. Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna throw a button in here. What else we got? Grab something over there in the pile. Jim G, three dudes. Like hopefully your car doesn't break down tomorrow. Come on, I'm pulling a deck of cards. 1994 deck of cards, let's go. Who doesn't want a deck of cards from 1994? Still in the package. And I'm going to sign it in white. Look at this. You're going to see how sassy this looks. Look at Like that white just pops. That white pops. And Congratulations to Necro. Necro in the house. 12 or 13 autographs are going to be in this bundle. And you're going to have the piece uh, that for me is the nearest and dearest to my heart. Uh, so down to 10 seconds. Hopefully somebody gets it. Puts a smile on their face. And... Do we got a winner? Who's the Austin name? Lemmy. Austin Lemmy. Austin was there at the very beginning, wasn't he? Wasn't it Austin at the beginning? The different Austin. Different Austin. Oh, there's lots of Austins at whatnot. This isn't the same Austin from the very beginning because the very first guy who bought one was Austin, wasn't it? All right, so we just got done with the stream. Man, it was crazy. So we gave away 16 comics, including the two signed books, like I said. Buyer's appreciation giveaway for the uh, statue. That went down, as you guys saw. Now, the craziness ensues because we got to print out all these labels. So, like, 78 packages. So, you're going to see how the craziness ensues with all of these labels, guys. And there we go. Not to get too close to get people's addresses in there. But, man, trust me, it becomes a ton of labels. So now we got to get to sorting so that we can get packages up. So actually, that wasn't it. <laughs> it just ran out of labels. It ain't over. All right, so here's what we look like after the stream. We've got orders all sorted with the corresponding labels. We're in the Gempire in the guest room here, so Jay is the one who will be taking care of all your orders. She does a great job, we pay her well. And uh, let me show you what we got going on for next Wednesday. 
All right, so next Wednesday, we're going to do giveaways for the entire show. I think we're going to do a lot of ratios for, like, Power Rangers. So here's a 1 out of 25, 1 out of 75. This is the Lord said 1 out of 100. So a lot of fun stuff. And I decided we're going to do the Buyer's Appreciation giveaway for the huge Transformers Generation 1 Megatron statue, guys. So that's going to be Wednesday which should be the next whatnot stream after this vlog. All right, guys, next morning, looks like Jay took care of all the packages. It's about 75 packages I gotta go out, but I just gotta pack up the Mandalorian statue real quick, hit it to uh, the post office and drop everything off. All right, got all the packages and the statue in the back of the truck. Let's go drop these things off. So yeah, man, how about that Todd show? <laughs> Yo, the Violator cover, the spawn number four, that was kind of the one I had my eye on and it went for 3K. Man, I was considering it and I was considering that spawn number one, how a day one Gemini won that from the Todd stream, man, Austin LeMay. Uh, shout out to Austin, that's gonna look amazing frame. I think it went for like 6,500 or so. So man, that was crazy cool. And uh, yeah, this was like, a day in the life, 24 hours, right? Like we started this video around this time yesterday morning. And uh, the beginning of the week, like Monday through Wednesday, that's kind of like the busy time of my week. And it kind of, it tends to wind down now. I uh, will probably do a live stream on Sunday, but I'll start capturing footage throughout the week to try to do next week's vlog, man. Maybe capture uh, when I record with Tom. I do that on Tuesdays. Always a different whatnot thing going on. Always different packages coming in. Uh, or statues or whatever so i'd like to try to keep it up and uh you know do these vlogs with you guys let me know what you think about it obviously drop me a comment uh down below and uh, we'll go live this sunday maybe we'll talk about it some more but yeah man super fun doing this vlog thanks for watching stay minty fresh y'all peace